Good morning, everyone in the meeting. Uh, we really appreciate this opportunity as IITC, Eastern Cape. Uh, my name is uh, Pumzile Zitumane. I am the chairman of the IITC, Eastern Cape. And uh, I think it is important just to, as part of my introduction, just to indicate and reinforce what has just been shared by my two colleagues, Kadra and the CEO, that AITC Eastern Cape is an entity of government uh, that was established to promote the, the auto sector and particularly provide the link between the auto sector and, and government, because you know that government is a catalyst uh, in any situation. So ours as government entities and government is to provide, provide that conducive environment for business to do what they know best. So as the AATC Eastern Cape, uh, we are actually guided by the South African uh, Automotive Master Plan, which as the CEO has indicated, has got pillars of strategic objectives. And one of them is the transformation uh, pillar. It is for that reason that uh, we saw it necessary that maybe let's try and rope in the historically disadvantaged individuals who are not participating meaningfully in the economy, but particularly in the auto sector. And in so doing, we engage the services of FASA and we really appreciate your agreement, agreeing to a, a minute, except to say we are located in the Eastern Cape and we would like to do our level best to promote the economic development of the Eastern Cape. And we appreciate that we have been invited to share some ideas and the purpose for which we have approached FASA for. The, this right to repair session that we have uh, arranged for the dates uh, that have been indicated in October is meant to promote the historically disadvantaged individuals to participate in this space of the aftermarket services in the automotive uh, sector. So it is our desire that they also get to be accredited in order for them to be able to promote, to provide the services that are required. Not all of them are able to operate at that level, but we do believe that with proper skilling, uh, they will be able to uh, participate in the, in, in the space. It, it is for that reason that we felt that uh, maybe approaching FASA to say the starting point could be through franchising, where you are able to be guided by set down standards and also uh, to follow through by providing what is required by the, uh, by the market. As government entities, I'm sure we will be able to link them with other state-owned entities and other state providers, uh, stakeholders to see to it that they are able to be looked after in order for them to continue to provide quality services that are required by the, by the sector and by the market, of course, in general. We do also understand that they have challenges that relate to funding. Uh, it is for that reason also that we will be working alongside them to link them with the funding institutions so that they are able to participate meaningfully and as I've indicated, to provide the services that are actually required. The, the, these potential franchises that we're actually looking at, largely they are located in the townships uh, and this is where also there's a lot of business, I think, that still needs to be tapped into. And of course, uh, they do employ sizable number of people and through franchising and also professionalizing their businesses, we do believe that they will be able to even employ more people. As you know, that small businesses are a backbone of uh, the economies throughout the world. And this also is part of that. And uh, the auto sector is contributing about 6.5 somewhere in the region, in that region, to the GDP of the country, which makes this a very, very important sector for us to, to, to focus on. There are, of course, as I've indicated, uh, challenges that 
we need to grapple with in terms of getting them to operate at the required level. And those relate to accreditation of their businesses. They relate to proper skills uh, that are needed for them to be able to run with those businesses. They also uh, need some business skills that we will be focusing on. There are, of course, people who are ready uh, for that, and uh, we will be providing that support. So that is for that. It is for that reason that we felt that stakeholders like FASA would be of assistance in partnering uh, with us in terms of uh, that transformation pillar of the South African Automotive uh, Master Plan. It's called SAM 2035 because by 2035, government is saying this is what we would have liked to achieve, and they have specified also quantitative targets in terms of, of the automotive master plan. I think basically for now, I, I will stop there. Those are the pointers that certainly are included uh, in what we're working on as the speech for, for that day. Thank you very much, back to you.